so we're probably recording right now. I think we're recording right now. <laughs> hey everybody. I'm so excited today. I'm going to try to stay calm. Um, I just went, I feel like I just went to the attic. I unloaded on Molly here and it's like. The good news for y'all, I have like three things. Kathy has like 300 things. I got so a few. it's going to be a wonderful video. This I got is a, a few. My name is Molly. This is Kathy. Kathy. It's a video about cross stitching. Mm -hmm. And today, haul. Cross stitching. Yeah charts and haul. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh wait, we need to get more organized. We need to like oh, have our whip parade and our plan and what we bought if, and if I knew that I could stitchy kindness, which we're going to call stitchy swag because everybody stitchy can like, yeah. <laughs> uh if if I could turn the camera down and think I could get it back up without making y'all sick yeah. or me doing it wrong, we would see the pile. You would see her pile literally. You see where my hand is? Yeah. That how how my hand didn't go down for it. It's That's a her pile. Good, and it's about four feet wide. So. It's a good eight inches. Don't you think? At least. Yeah. Okay. So on that note, yeah. Kathy, what have you been up to I, lately? Yeah. I, I, um, I'm going to sit back and enjoy I don't even know where to begin. Honestly, I am so overwhelmed with everything that has come our way. Um, stitching's been going really good. My trip to the attic was phenomenal. And you know, I'm not going to dive into every little thing because I'm sure that's been hashed over numerous times by other floss tubers. Um, but I will say this, it was, uh, it was good to see Jean. It was wonderful to meet some people in person who we've kind of gotten to know on Facebook. I got, I was invited, my husband and I, we took our dog Cooper with, who loves to travel, and he just sat in that back seat and kind of wiggled his way in his little, little uh, travel up. Uh, it's not a cage it's actually like a little fabric type crate that's big enough for him but um, we were invited to Cindy Pope's for lunch it was wonderful to meet her and her husband and uh, talk knees oh and <laughs> just so y'all know I did talk to Cooper her dog trying to buy his seat and he would not okay, sell me that seat gonna give it up. he no. didn't give it up mm -mm, so mm -mm. I had to stay home no in fact we packed really light um, and I felt so bad because there was this new gal Terry that came for the first time ever to a retreat, and she packed like a giant a, a, a suitcase. Well, that's what you do. Full. Uh huh. That's what you, you do. Never big, go to a retreat with a full big suitcase hopes, because big hopes. you're uh -huh. gonna come home with a whole bunch of. But next time she'll know. She'll know. That's, I, you she'll know. know. And we kind of talked to her, and yeah. she's uh, she's she's good for next time. But yeah, um, wonderful, wonderful people. A little um, stitchy gifts, that kind of thing went on out there. And just like I said, meeting people one-on-one -on -one that you know you've heard about or you've seen on floss tube or you've, you've chatted with um, on an Instagram conversation what have you but mm. so that was really 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 nice and fun. and I'm sure there were a hundred how many people were there a hundred I think a hundred by the time it was said and done well I'm, I'm sure all hundred of them were wonderful yeah but I was telling Kathy uh, Brenda uh, Brenda in the serial store uh -huh. was there and Brenda I, was there I didn't get to meet her I was broken Brenda hearted. Was I wanted to meet her so bad. Yeah. And the other person I just want to pet on or touch or something. Don't scare. I don't want to scare you. But I just wanted to get to know was Kim, the contented. Uh, yes, she was there. She was very, very helpful at the shop. That's um, a sweet woman. A gal right? from Needle in the Haystack was there. And I think her name was Kathy. Uh, she was there helping Jean. Um, there was Mary, who I hadn't met before, was wonderful help. Of course, Carolyn's always there to help. Um, and she's a hoot. I love yeah. her. So love Jean her. had plenty of... Uh, is it nice to say minions? Because <laughs> a lot of friends. She had a lot of friends helping her. <laughs> a lot of people helping out, uh -huh. and it just made the day. Actually, I was going to say we got there on um, Thursday early. I think we got there like around noon, maybe twelve thirty. We left early here in the morning, and I said to my husband, "Yeah, I just want to go a day early because by the time I get there and you have go to class, the linen's like totally gone. You know, Friday it's like." <laughs> well, honest to God, my husband looks in the door, he drops me off, and he looks in the door, he goes, there's like 50 people in there. <laughs> and truly, there was 50 people in there um, trying to all buy linen and threads. And, and of course, she's going to stock up any business. Well, any... I was going to ask you, with that many women, does she have enough? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. She stocked well. Any good business person yeah. would definitely stock up that store. And she knows what y'all like. Yeah. Samples, samples. So samples. I did get, and I'll show, I'll, I'll uh, show some of my haul. Like I said, I'm not going to harp on, 
you know, everything that happened at the event, but I'll show you some of the patterns and what have you that were. Of course, it was Bristol weekend, and there will be a Bristol four and more, um, which means they'll focus on the Bristols, colored Bristols, as well as the red, uh, which are the more traditional ones. Mm -hmm. But Claudia gave a phenomenal, um, just Thank a review of what Bristols are, where they originated from, the gentleman that took these orphans in, and the history behind them was just great. I could listen to that all over again. And Claudia is? Owner of Dutch Treat Designs and a wealth of information when it comes to Bristol's. She's got a website out there, bristol.com. Um, she's going to be writing, publishing a book um, about oh. her. Yeah, about her. And I, I almost brought the sampler that I stitched. I did get to bring it home, um, but it's already hanging and <laughs> loving on it. So, it's like, so it'll oh. go back to the shop at a certain I time. I told Jean that when when the patterns released, which is usually about a year when they do these retreats, maybe oh. a little bit less, but I said I'd bring it back out for her to, to hang in the shop. Sure. I actually took her uh, wishing thorn, the wishing thorn baguettes sampler, uh, Jane, I think it's Jane Parson, the one that's in wools that I stitched and I had reached out to Burgett and Jane said, would you like to have this just because Jane did have quite a large um, write up in her newsletter about the wishing thorn and the designs that Burgett is publishing. Um, which forget has always got beautiful things. So. Amazes me more and more every day. Yeah, the things she does. Just amazing, amazing, and mm. the fact that she's so European, so um, German European. There's so much history that that goes on in that area of their countries mm. over there. That just a, it's a wealth of information right there, walking and talking. So fun to listen to her too. Kathy, I'm trying to be good, but I am wanting to dive in. Y'all have to see this pile. It is amazing. <laughs> Look how cute she is. Oh, so, Kathy, did you get? Did you bring anything home from that? Well, you know what? I, I did. I brought you home something, and I hope this is for you because when we before we left, Molly, I made these doll little dolls. A couple of you got them. I kind of went around to those that I people I've gotten to know, but um, shared those. But Molly made some bling charms for uh, Claudia to hand out and Claudia did use them I, her if you finish your name tag which my god I'll probably never get that thing done in five years but you got the bling from from Molly that she did some really hard work and then of course Molly put her scrapbooking skills together and her and I put our heads together so you can imagine what was all going on but I made these dolls that you open up the skirt and inside was a pin uh, and I gave one to Brenda. She said, I think she's going to show it tomorrow. But it did turn out really, I didn't even get one for myself and Molly <laughs> didn't get one. I didn't get one. Uh, but I, my, I did get bring you this. Kathy, just I want to back little, up. Just, the, she what, wanted she, something in wood. Well, it, and the, I wanted something that just, I, like I was there. Instead of, you know, all I so, got was this lousy t-shirt. I wanted something that was a keepsake. But, uh. But I want to go back on the dolls. They were, uh, they were if you cute. know Anna Griffin at all, she They're does really Victorian cute. era uh, artwork, is you know what her archives are. And all. So they were little Victorian women, yeah, paper dolls. Right. They were so pretty. Doll. Mm -hmm. But we funkied it up because, like I said, you we scored the skirt. You open the skirt, and you open the skirt, and the skirt had lace and um, oh, and the needle folder in it, and then Molly made the sticky for the back. Yeah. So, but I said to Jean, Jean said, I'm going to have to come out. So, oh my God, look, uh, it's official. I'm a sampler. Oh my I know. <laughs> it's like everything says Attic Needleworks where samplers rule. And it and smells of course, good. You know, oh, Kathy. Molly's dipped her toes into samplers and now she's got a little gonna, needle minor to match. But uh, I hope y'all yeah. can see So this. that's for your helping me get something that, you know, together for the girls out of oh my god i wish Bristol. i could have been there i'm yeah. hoping they like those little victorian dolls, the dolls just, were cute. they were, uh, they, were cute. they held needles yeah. they were so cute i yeah. didn't get one you can hold more than one needle but i i know we need to figure uh, out how we can make another one so that's for you to. kathy thank then, you so much jane um, I'm, this I'm is coming. from i'm coming you'll understand this is fr this is from needlework press vicky because you're gonna you know for me yeah for you and then this is from Oh, I I'm love sorry, this I'm one, sorry. and I stitched it. So, it's actually for me and Claudia. Oh, Kathy. So, that is your little treasures. She didn't even have to go anywhere. 
Oh my God. And one of the gals out there, Angie, and she is, I think, Lunchbox Quilts. Um, and I've got a card for you too, but she sent you some natural beeswax. Oh my oh, God, so. thank y'all so much. I'm gonna whip you. I'm gonna she whip just her. needs to go to the attic. Oh my God, Claudia, if you're watching this, First off, I love your stuff. Second off, I'm so excited I can hardly stand it. Patriotic out the window. We're going yeah, to Christmas. Going oh, right to Christmas. <laughs> we're going to Christmas. So while we're on, so is this paper? Yes, it's perforated paper. But and, it's small. Yeah, it's, it's kind of nice, but yet it's got holes that, that are decent. I've never well, let's used talk about it. the paper. Okay. So this was the this was the needlework press project that we had, and this was done on paper and. I, I need you to help me. I have I didn't bring mine today, oh but my God. one afternoon I want to come over and Tim Holtz that paper to grunge it up. Okay. Um, but this was the pocket, and it's to put like your little love notes in. And you know what? I thought at first that's kind of corny. Well, you know what? I don't know what. My husband has saved every note. So we were high school sweethearts. He totally robbed the cradle. I was 15. I married him when I was nine, just not even 19. I was 18. We've been married 40. Years. 45 years but he's got every little dumb love note and I used to use the you guys all think that the the smiley faces and the arrow up and I used all of those and made up my own so he has all of those and I thought wouldn't it be fun to make this little pocket and put all those little notes in little love notes in because he saved everyone Kathy, this is so yeah. pretty. This yeah. was on perforated paper? On perforated paper. Oh, I can't show the chart. Can't I almost show the chart. to show the chart. Nope, can't show the chart. But it's from and the then box. this is the um, the other thing that's on. I'm going to take this one out of the bag. You guys are lucky because I usually don't take them out of the bag because no one's here to put them back in. <laughs> Just me. So oh this is also on perforated paper. And this is this is by Needlework Press. This is Megan and, and Vicki. And you could stitch, there's enough on that paper that we could stitch this and this, but I think Molly and I will probably dip our toes in the little one first. And then this was also given to us just as for alphabets to use. And of course the alphabets on the back. And I, and I just want to back up on the perforated paper. Yeah. I use Tim Holtz for a lot of things, but it is water soluble. We're gonna come up with a different solution. Yeah. But I know the look you're going for. Yeah. There's too many other Brand, choices. Some kind of ground. And these were the colors for uh, the pocket so you can yeah just pretty I mean everything was just pretty so okay tell me about the fabric that's back here isn't that she said she went in her stash this is big you know we all have stash she went in her stash and found enough fabric for everybody to have a hunk of that it's like a little Liberty yeah thing but going the on. colors are I'll throw this in here the colors are beautiful I'm gonna just I'm gonna look. yeah you can look I'll put your stuff up for you because she has no room. I'll tuck, no tuck room. this in here fast. Happy. Oh my God. Yeah, isn't that pretty? Yes, I just wanted so to see if there's no, there's not enough sellers there. to give me a hand. And then let's talk quickly about um, Claudia. And I had, a, like I said, it was Claudia is just a wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Um, I love her designs. Yeah, her designs. She gave us this chart, Believe in Jesus. And I believe some of these may be available on her site. I'm putting this in here. Is that yes, right? thank okay. you. And this was the one I stitched for Claudia. Oh, oh, that's the bling had one of those little yes. motifs on it. Yeah. So this is unfortunately not available, but this the saying is "May angels guard the one I love." I mean, how much cooler okay. can you be for that? Again, it's a Bristol. Can I get a for just? Yeah. I'm so sorry, I'm gonna try. Yeah. I'm trying to find. Where is it? Where is it? Can y'all see that one? So I made some bling and I used, they said they wanted the basket, so I used the basket. Yeah. But my favorite one I made for me. Look at that anchor. Yeah, the anchor is beautiful. Uh, Did you make me one? I could be talked into it now. You know, you, you could ask me for anything now. I'm so happy. <laughs> so that's the one that I uh, stitched. That'll be available probably in a year. Keep an eye on Claudia Dutch Treat Designs. She gave us the Red Bunny sampler. This is what you got it at. Yeah, this is at the retreat from, from uh, this is actually from Claudia. And then she gave us the pattern to make a needle holder out of the same colors that used in May Angels Guard the One I Love, which is the more purple leaves. But check out the motifs on the back. To just take the motifs and stitch where you like. 
And she also gave us. Oh, I'm so doing those. Yeah, she. This was the name tag. Oh, I shouldn't show the chart, um, but it was the bunny. And I just she had sent me a. I did a PDF of the because I want. I do want to stitch the the. Uh, so the make Angel's Guard, the one I love, is out now, right? No, no, not for about a year. Yeah. Oh, because it was at the retreat. Okay, it was at the I'm, I'm gonna get you. I'm good. So that goes to that. I gotta wait a year. She for gave this? us the stuff. Yep, to stitch this. Yep, and then and this all goes together. So she stitched these on perforated paper yep. too. Mm-hmm. Yep, on the needlebook. And then I have already stitched Merry Christmas, but. I loaned the chart to someone back home in Wisconsin and never got it back. Of course, we're down here in El Paso and that ain't gonna happen. So she gave me one of these too. I would love to stitch this small. Um, I think teeny, teeny, tiny would be cool, but this is also Claudia Dutch Tree Designs. And if you go to her website, she's got many of this type of model sampler as well as some other additional samplers. So. And in the Dutch tradition, one of the ones, she's got a welcome sign. Yeah. The welcome so is really pretty, pretty too. It's yeah. so pretty. Now, okay. everything from here there. down is mine. Yours okay. 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 You know, you, and you then got too um, Violets and Verses was there. One of the new designers. She gave us this little chart. Can y'all? I hope we're holding it up close <clears> enough. Let me see. It's. And this is a beautiful Bristol too. This is uh, Martha Wurz Boys Bristol. And I don't. I cannot tell you if this is available. I don't know. Um, I did not take the minute, the time to scan it, just because uh, there was so much to do and what have you. That okay. Too many friends to make while I was out there at the attic, but that's a cool one too. Could these be any littler? Oh, I know. Guess what? So you all know I'm stitching the model for Ada Davies um, <clears throat> for the wishing thorn, and then I have. One additional one that I'm going to be stitching for um, for Ms. Beard yet, which is class. Elizabeth Hughes. Can you show that already? Yeah, I can okay. show it because it's not it's not released yet, but it's coming out in July. She said, so I'll be stitching the model for that one. Look at the bottom. Isn't of that, that cool? Thing. That is such a cool patriotic. Look one. at the middle motif. Yeah. Oh my god. Love that one. And okay, that's, what size linen would Jean? Oh, Jean, fifty-six, sixty. Unless she can get it. I'm, I'm in awe of this. I'm, yeah. So awe. that's the Bristol. So that's. So this is Brigade. That's my next this model. But guess what? What? After this one, I'm going to be stitching a model for Michelle, uh, owner of Tabby Cat Fabrics and Designs. So she has a Bristol sampler. Her Bristol sampler is all the alphabets and on the bottom is like a little, kind of like a little village, if you will. Again, colored motifs, but it is a Bristol. Um, so I'll be stitching that one. She needs that one for me and I'm like, okay, so Eliza's next and then I need that one, Michelle. So Tabby Cat Designs and, and this, fabric. This I, that one I think will is, go fast. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Is amazing. It right no, it's right. I don't think so. Right, right. right. So that one's really cool. So the, 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 the different motifs in here that could be pulled out yeah. are just exquisite. The trees, uh -huh. the centerpiece. That will the definitely thing. go in my patriotic. Mm. And then Jean um, gave us this. And this says, may, Angel guard, may angels guard the one I love. And this holds the 100 trees. And there's enough spindles to hold 10 of the spools, which is 10 of the colors for the sampler, model sampler that I stitched. And it smells wonderful. I love it. And it's got a needle uh, magnet up at the top there. It smells really, really nice. So we got that. And then. And is it the same my Angel's Guard, the one I love? I Just love the sweetest that. thing, yeah. And then, um, okay, so should I just like go into haul? I think so. <laughs> I'm ready. Y'all ready? Okay. I'm ready. Um, okay. So I was at, I, I actually went to the attic four times. Four times. Um, because every time I went, you know, there was something else that I had to get. I scoured uh, each time a little bit different area because Jean's got it kind of sectioned off by area and designer so that if you do have a pattern you're looking for. But I did pick up this one. This is a patriotic shaker box set. And how, why I picked that is that little scene on the bottom of the houses 
are adorable stitch tiny so I and I got fabric for it, but I'm gonna stitch this as well this is uh, be of good cheer and stitching it tiny and I'm gonna slow Kathy down I will yeah. you know we've had several of y'all ask for slow down yeah but uh not that I'm not Zip a hiker, but, who, no, <laughs> but look at Isn't she's saying the houses are darling which they are they but look are at that adorable. motif look at that one they're darling I know but that little and it was stitched as a little pillow so I got this fabric it's 36 count well we don't know what color it was I got this at the attic but I'm going to stitch it on this and I think this is just the coolest fabric for both of those and that's coming across Ooh. pretty darn good as far as the color. Me, see, it's a yeah. little darker when I hold it back. Yeah. It's beautiful. So I, it's not stitch. it's not green, but it's almost got a yeah a little touch a, a blackish green. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. unfortunately it wasn't marked. Um, I saw it laying there, and I just thought, oh my god, that's mm -hmm. going to be cool fabric for that for both of them. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll okay. tuck that in mm -hmm. there, and then on one of my trips. So as um, then one nice thing was is there was a shuttle from the, conven the convention room area hotel to the attic, which took less than five minutes. And you were like, oh, you can just kind of oh, pop right in. So as I'm waiting for the shuttle, I'm sitting down at the table, sitting at the table, and I'm like waiting for the shuttle. And then you have to get a really good chance to eyeball everything then because you're like, oh, I really like that sampler. <laughs> I can't even imagine. Which you know that the second you're going to get off your seat to look for it, the shuttle's going to pull up to pick you up. So I was like, there's no way you're going to get that. So the last day, my husband said to me, do we need to go back to the attic? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so I did pick up. This one is, and unfortunately, I haven't even had a chance to really get it in, um, get it in a floss ring. But this is Prudence. 1828 and it's adorable and the colors are so cool you can maybe put them on the white here I'm trying to get yeah. a little show around here now. yeah oh, let's throw them on that white the can colors are the beautiful and it's kind of I thought of Molly because it's got the teal yeah, yeah, these are all I've loved teal look to it but again Prudence pairing 1828 I specifically went back for that pattern once I saw it up on the wall. And it's not real big. It's 111 by 227. It's uh, stitched on 40 count, 5 and a half inches by 12 and a quarter. And they had it. I didn't have to ask for any help to get it. Oh, I'm sure I have gosh. a hunk of fabric at home that. Do you put your thread behind or in front? It doesn't matter, Molly. You can put it wherever you like. I don't want to be fired. As long as it's in my bag. Oh. <laughs> and I had to get this one. And honestly, I called them because I was like, I don't want to forget to get this one. Because there's just something about it. It says, like, summer and mm -hmm. just look at this. Carriage holds design. Is that garden sampler not adorable? It's just the sweetest thing. And I, I think, um, I want to say the museum stitcher maybe stitching on it. Isn't that sweet? Uh, several it's people. I've seen this from fun. several floss yeah. tubers. Several. It just to me says summer and garden sampler by carriage house. So I. It's have, got a rabbit. It's got a crayfish or goldfish. It's got robin's eggs. Yeah. Watermelon sunshine. Just that cute. is life and summer. Yeah. I mean. There's so I had to get that. The abundance of summer. Um, and I should mention I got to meet Erica Michaels. I'm just gonna flash this. She gave us this chart. Sampler's rule. It was really nice to meet her. Um. So, yeah, she gave us that chart. I love her. And then I had to buy this one. I did not jump on it when it first came out, but I saw it at the attic, and I, you know, I have so many charts. In fact, putting away some of the charts that I had at home, and it's like, I have a lot of charts. I have a lot of cold charts. I have a lot of, it's like, I need to stitch faster. <laughs> I don't know. But, stitch while you sleep. That's um, all there is. M Maria Ewan. Ewan. 2023 Queen of May, absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful chart. 
and y'all, I apologize if it seems like I'm grabbing these out of Kathy's hands. But a lot holding, of you yeah. made comments about they want to see yeah, see them longer. longer. She's got longer arms yeah. from where we're, our, where we're sitting. And this was waiting for me at the child at the shop. I actually um, called the head for this one is Hannah Campbell, 1838. I know many of you are already stitching this. And I had called ahead. I got the 100 crease to stitch it with. Um, and, and I've got fabric at home that I know I'm going to be flipping with it. So, But here's the threads for her. And like I said, there was 17 of them of the 100 crease. That's really pretty too. Really pretty. And then also what came with that, because you bought, I, I Jean had some kind of set up, you got the little charm to put all the, put on your bag. So, yes. Now that, then. And who did these charms? There's the person. Uh, Minnie McBean. Minnie McBean. Yep. Minnie I've McBean. heard of her before. Yeah, yep. That is well done. Yeah. And then, I, I did show this the last time. This is uh, Quaint Rose Needle Arts. This one's Antique Birds and Angel, which I love. I love this one. So, I was like, okay, Kathy, let's, you know, get busy. And this is um, the threads. Carolyn had pulled the bulk of them for me. I know I'm missing a couple, but these are the threads. And some of them are dinky dyes. Yeah, just beautiful. Just dinky dyes is cotton or silk? Silks. Okay. Just pretty. So that goes to that. Oh, that fabric is gorgeous, isn't it? It's it's, it's more gold. It's actually weak straw, thirty six pounds. <laughs> oop oop oop. Do you want me to turn the? Yeah, is that better? Gold. That's better. Yeah. Well, that's better. These are gorgeous colors. Yeah. I, I'll show the pattern again. I love the pattern. I, one of the gals there that works at the attic, and I wish I could remember her name. Such a help, too. But this is so pretty. I've never bought Oh, because I don't buy silks. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I've never bought and I, it's silks and, and over You can, of course, do it in all silks. They've got the conversion for it. But I just pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Yeah, I'll talk that. But the silk that... Uh, Brigitte sent me. That was easy to work with. Yeah, Belle Swan. I didn't buy. I didn't pay for it. So. Yeah. The Belle Swan so. That was pretty. Yeah. Those feel more cottony to me. The, yeah, this dinky dyes. Those colors are These exquisite. are silks, yep. Mm. And then these are the over dyes. So dinky dyes only make silk? I believe so. I don't know for sure, but I believe so. I'm not a real good connoisseur of the silk end of things. I do like to stitch in the old with the over dyes. Um, I like the way that it looks, although I love stitching with DMC. That's very pretty too. It's got a sheen of its own. You want this in there? No, it's usually outside. And then I picked up, of course I had to have this Halloween thing. And this one I went back for too. I, I'm sitting there in bed, and by the way, I every bone in my body about died off there. <laughs> so I could not sleep. I've got pillows under my knee, pillows on my back, and it's like, okay, what are we going to think about while we're trying to go to sleep? Mm -hmm. um, and this just, I was like, it jumped in I your wonder bag. if that'll be there if I go back. And that little witch was oh, there. So it's the, got the holes. Yeah, got the holes. But I love to decorate for And Halloween. this is just like a pine wood. Yeah. Printed. Just loved it. And she was there just kind of. Gotta get a drill. She man. was waiting for me, just sitting there waiting gotta, gotta for me. Gotta get a drill. Then, I picked up this pattern, which I love this one, too. I showed it to Molly already. This is Catherine Isabella Solis, Solis okay. 1838 Canadian Sampler with a beautiful verse. I'm going to read you the verse, and then we'll put it up there. Good hue. Now, by the way, I believe this was stitched. Catherine was 11 when she stitched her vibrant sampler, and she died only eight years later. So was she 19. It's like sad stories about some of these samples. Anyway, good humor is the greatest charm children can possess. It makes them happy and what's more, it gives them power to bless. Now the cool thing with the sampler, what caught my eye is that she overlaps her words into the border. That cracks me up. But isn't that adorable? This is put out by Needlework Press. Okay. 
y'all can see that. Let me see if I can see where the words go into the border. That's dark. Kathy, that whole thing is just sweet as a button. Love Isn't the colors it? they chose. Yep. Oh, here, let me do this. Catherine Isabella Solis. Ooh, well done her. Yeah, I like her. I so, do. haven't done any of that. This one I also picked up. This is oh. uh, by Needlework Press. This is made into a box, kind of velvety, and then this is the lid. This is Garlands of Joy. Absolutely beautiful done. Absolutely beautiful done. And it, she does So, give what you are you, the box has got a yeah, printing on it or something? Well, oh. I have to read it, but this looks like a postcard, Kathy. So that's what's in the yeah, box. Probably. Ah, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. And so I this is like the lid of, to the box. I, I have a gotcha. lot of old postcards. You certainly Gosh, do. knows that. Now I gotta look here and see what else, if anything else, that I bought. Okay, so I've got a couple more things I did buy because I got real brave. When you sit out there and talk to Jean and you look at all this teeny, teeny, tiny stuff, you're like. So I bought Fox and Rabbit Eucalyptus 56 count. I have no idea what I'm going to stitch on it, but, and ladies and 56. Just, I should tell you that you should all, always, always, always leave something back at the shop like you forgot it because you need to go back the next day. <laughs> so you must, must, must. So unfortunately, well, fortunately for me, I had picked out this beautiful eucalyptus fabric, 56 count, box of rabbit. I'm sure you're not going to be able to see that, but it is there. Um, I picked out this Tudor silk to go with it. Pretty, pretty. Well, the silk, silk, Tudor silk never made it into the bag. Uh -oh. So I, honest to gosh, had to go back and get the Tudor silk for it. So I will, and I think I just want to do a very simple ABCDFG sampler on it. But I got enough to... That Tudor silk color is beautiful. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Okay. I want to just say something about Fox yes, and Rabbit real quick. Okay. I watched one. I think it's their latest video. Depending on when you're watching Oh, this. she was so sick. She was so... Oh, they were both sick. Right. They were, he was recovering and she was yeah. into it. And I think foolish symptoms and all. But they were saying such wonderful things oh, about you, Kathy. She's getting her knee done. She's getting her knee done. But I have to tell you, not that they watch us, but if they do, I think one of the happiest moments in my life... Y'all know uh, Brian sits there. Yeah. Yeah. And he's pretty dry. And he yep. cracks me up. He's just, you know, he does what he does yeah. and all that stuff. But there was a moment she said something. And as he's leaning over out of the picture, you could see him smile with a big old smile. I had to replay that like four times just to just see to Brian see. smile oh, and smile yeah. and smile. So I saw they you. They had a box <laughs> of, I saw you. <laughs> of treats from somebody. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. They were snacking on those things. It's I had to go from get around myself, the world or something. I had to go get myself a cookie. It's like, if you're going to eat and sit <laughs> but, uh, here, I'm going to eat. And sit. But, yeah, from Korea. I think from so. From South Korea. Snacks from Korea. But as, I think yeah. each month or each th something three different. months or whatever is from a yeah. different place. Yeah, but she is having her, and she talks about this, so I don't feel like I'm sharing anything I shouldn't, but she is getting her knee replaced, uh, I think she said October. And uh, so. on the note of Korea, boy, talk about a segue here. Mm -hmm. um, I had talked to my son who lives in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, he's, they're moving from Bellingham to Everett near oh, Seattle, wow. so they're going to love that. And I, But I was telling him about, I had seen this show on YouTube about Korean snacks and stuff, yeah. and one of them was Korean corn dogs and all this stuff. Yeah. I said, oh my God, it made me so hungry for them. Not that Google knows what you're doing, but like a second later, my phone beeps, and there's a brand new Korean place in El Paso. They're listening. That's one of their specialties is Korean corn dogs. I mean, hot, whatever in, you call it. Honestly. In South Korea? In El Paso. Oh, for Korea. And what's the name of the place? I don't know. But uh, oh. it's, I can tell you where it is. So, you know. but anyway, just just say, Mountain where is the place? And it'll come up. But on I'm, your phone. I'm telling you, he It'll, and I were texting back and forth about Korean. It'll tell you food, where. And it popped up. But El Paso has a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. My uh, my oldest son was just in Korea. South that food, Korea. Were, anyway, that stuff Brian had looked good. And yeah. Corn dog things were he good. Was, but, uh, he was kind of impressed. He enjoyed okay. the visit. But anyway. Um, then I did buy, I, I, I'm not, that just goes with my frippery. I did buy, oh. this is 36 count Melville needle and flax, a beautiful piece. Um, I actually was thinking of stitching. I was going to pull the pattern on. I, I, either my head forgot or my knee hurt or whatever. But anyway, is, is this not the coolest oh, piece? Oh, Kathy. So, uh, who's the one that? puts out those long verses and they're fun looking 
there's a Christmas. Silver Creek? I think it's Silver Creek. I think it's Silver Creek. It has the Christmas one, and I was going to put it on this. Look how pretty. But, ladies and gents, I got home, and I'm like looking through my rolled fabric So what of stash. count is this? 35. Really? So if I did show this the last time, uh, Falling Snow. Love this piece. And I did find in my stand, and this is how I roll. You guys were all taught, I, I truly believe in rolling your linen um, and not folding it. But um, this is 35 count seafoam. I'm not going to open it up because it is rope, but that's how I roll my fabric. And then they're standing or I have them laying covered so that the sun here in El Paso would just eat you alive anyway. Uh -huh. I think I'm going to, I bought this for this initially, which could be cool. But then I went in my stash and I found this. Which is, this is beautiful, yeah. but it would be a more uh, gray snowy day. Yeah. This is going to be yeah. the same feeling as what this I day. think the Christmas one will be fine on oh this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. With it being mm -hmm. kind of wintry, wintry looking yeah. also. But this I think is more crispy. It, now. That's a good word. Yeah. That was exactly. I am going to be looking, falling snow, and I, I'm just going to stitch it on 35 count, which means I'm going to use one strand of something over one. There's a lot of white going on, but I want the white to really stand up. I want like, te I don't want to say texture. I don't like want to, I don't want to whisper or a nubby or a, mm -hmm. so if you all have suggestions for what white I could use on this, please, please, please put it in the comments. And when we read them, we'll go through them. But anyway, I just, like I said, initially bought it for this. I think it would be okay, but I think this one's going to be That's going to be more true yeah. to what they designed. Yeah. This is going to be stunning. So I did pick up that piece. Uh, I'm sure I'll find something for it. And then I picked up, listen to me, I'm still on haul. So I kind of got re-inspired by Sarah Stitchy, Stitch Sarah's Camelot. I'm not going to sing it. Her hobby does a much better job. But this is A Way We Ride, a blackbird. And this is the piece I picked up for. This is Needle and Flax 40 Count Indora. Love this piece. And I think this is going to be so cool. Now you're saying you picked this up? Was, oh, I had oh, that. But I so think, is this available, you think? Or oh, yeah. Oh, that good. one's available. Okay. But isn't that a cool piece? That is a beautifully cool piece. Blah, blah, blah. Look at it. Pretty. It's very pretty. And it's really coming off. Pretty. And the color is unique yeah I could wear this it's I, mm. my new dress well I got to this is really yeah. pretty I just think it's a cool fall ish and there are a lot of girls are stitching I shouldn't say just girls a lot of people are stitching in this particular probably everybody watching already knows what this says yeah. but it says a wavy yeah. ride till it's dark as pitch to find the home of a wicked witch oh I love that yeah so that's this piece and that again is 40 count needle and flax and Dora Oh, Endora. How cute. Endor I know. <laughs> From Bewitched. It wasn't that exactly, Endora? Exactly. Exactly. So that's that. Then, and I should tell you that um, Megan did a really nice job on hem stitching. She gave us directions on how to do it. Um, and I wanted to I wanted to show Megan because there is a book, and I believe it's put out by Trisha. Small little book like this big, yellow but it does have uh, directions on hem stitching where you don't pull the thread all the way through. You stop at where the corner would be, where mm -hmm. the corners would intersect, and you miter that, that corner. Um, and it's a beautiful finish for something a little bit more elegant. This is a little bit more primitive, but I did want to tell Megan about that little book. I don't know if it's available anymore, or if it's out of print or whatever, but great instructions for that. Then, So y'all know I want to stitch Shakespeare's Peddler's Jenny Bean, and it one connects to the other. This is one, this is two, this is three. Can I show that upside down? Okay, I'm gonna hold on. Yep. This is whatever. Oh, yep. This is one. This is one. Yep, one. This is two. two. Okay. This is this is three. No, it's our four is on the back. They go they, on top of each other? Yeah, or? along. And then this is uh, the verse. This is five. And the backside six. 
which is yummy. And then this is seven, this is town. And this then town, and this is Jenny's house. And they all connect. So it's a very, very long piece. You need what they call, or what she calls a linear cut. So you need from salvage to salvage is what you need. So I found this piece that I, and I knew I wanted to see it if I was gonna spend that much money on a hunk of linen, but this piece is just perfect for it. I wanted it lighter because I want the colors to show, but you can imagine this piece, it's this big. It goes from salvage to salvage, huge. And it will be probably about that wide, but about that long when you connect them all It's together. only 170 wide, it says, yeah. but it's 810 yeah. long. long. And it says you need a skinny half, so yeah. that would be salvage to salvage. Salvage to salvage. Right but there's enough of this. and I That is a sweet color. Isn't it? It is. Um, this is Needle Bling Designs. She's telling me is how to cut it. Heirloom, 36 count, and I bought the full piece because I'll have enough after I cut my linear piece for Jenny Bean to do I've got this oh, I love that pattern. Charlotte Watkins 866. And I think the colors on there, I didn't pull colors for that one, but that's okay. I got plenty, plenty of colors. Um, I did pull the colors for Jenny Beam uh, Parlor Series. I am surprised that I, this apple cider is not a little bit more red. I'm going to have to maybe alter some colors. So these are the colors for all of those. Kathy, this is so pretty. Yeah, yeah. So these are the colors for the long one, Jenny Beam. And I wish you could see. Let me go here, turn them around because there's many. Boy, they have a wonderful tonal yeah. look on those. That's but I beautiful. think it'll be really pretty on that linen. So, and you know, Molly, ma'am, we talked, we talked about buying linen online. You really can't do it. <laughs> Molly bought a couple of pieces. We're not gonna say who, but you buy a couple pieces online. You, you think you've got it pretty close. Look how pretty that is. You think you got it pretty close. You. It wasn't one is just like way off, but uh, you got to go look at them if at all possible. You, gotta you go got if you can, them. you really do. But we need some red, there needs that's to be, uh huh. And I was looking something. for a pink or a red yeah. or something, missing something there because the, the charts definitely have pink okay. and reddish. Okay, then I picked up Hindsight Welcome for Halloween Love the Witch, and I love look at that, that skeleton on the bottom. I meant to get these in. Okay, let me get hindsight. 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 Okay. Someone is. Uh, this is going to go with that other pumpkin you yeah. did that I love so much. Love Halloween. We'll talk about Halloween because I did bring two. two okay, while we're Halloween. here, about the charm. Did you is throw that, that in there? No, it came with it. Is that not adorable? Let's see if I can get him. He's so cute. He's a skeleton. Yeah. I love him. And see, he's in the little coffin. Oh, Lord. Or the and tower. I, I'm not sure. I know a lot of people are stitching the tiny towns, and uh -huh. I saw somebody stitching this one, Sunny Side, Sunny Side Sampler by the Drawn Thread. I probably would not have bought this pattern if I had not seen her her stitching of it. Very cool. Very, very cool. Thank you, Molly. Okay. It's from the Drawn Thread, which is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And you can't see here, but I'm going to show you a couple pictures on the back where you'll yeah. get to see. The sunflowers behind that little house. I can show you this because it's not a yeah. chart. But see, there's some blown up pictures. Aren't those sweet? Look at that one. Yeah. Loved it. Like I said, if I hadn't seen it, I probably would That's really pretty. Yeah. And then, of course, this one for fall is uh, Tiny Town. Oh, Park I Man. love that one. Was this in a thing or not? Yeah. I don't know where it is. Just throw it in the pile. <laughs> Just throw it. I think that one's really cute. Park Man. That is very fall. cute. <clears throat> that could be a drum or a pin cushion or it's a hard platform. Hand. I'm doing a Patreon. Oh, I got it in front of me. Yeah. Why not? I'm asking you. <clears throat> Isn't that pretty? Um, okay. So then um, I'm going to show you what my friends gave me. Um, this is from, this is, it says, Happy Stitches from Mary Darling and Sharon Hall. Sharon knows Crescent colors and 
classic color works and the old Belle Soir and I got the history lowdown and all that but they stitched me up beautiful pin cushion and some little bling bling from and it has Claudia design on it oh yeah so that's cool yay put that there and then like I said we each got some oh and they darkened it up that's yeah. good I love how they did it some uh -huh. beeswax from Angie and I, I'm pretty sure she's oh, lunchbox filters and I need to give you the, her card because okay. she wants you to reach out to her and then um, from Laura we both received oh I know yours is there because she it's there it was under it's here it. it's under all my junk it is under 14 inches of stuff yeah. oh there Laura. it is Hank Laura look how coming. pretty she did that that's blue and look yeah. how pretty the little salt yeah. uh, celery sweet, is. Sweet, sweet, sweet. That's very Pink sweet. Cushion. Thank you so yeah, much. That's from Laura. Thank and then um, I want to give a couple shout outs here really quick before I show my whip and my plan. All this stuff. Um, Nat Willis sent me this just I think is to cheer me up and it did because this guy is so cute. Look at those cheeks look on that thing. Look It's a waxer. The cheeks on that so, thing. So Nat, Nat Willis Vintage Cross Stitch. Uh, she's got a Facebook page as well as a floss tube. So if you get a chance, pull up Nat Willis. And I love it. She's a doctor and love that she takes time to kind of calm down from her crazy busy day and do wax and stitch and samplers. And she's a wonderful person. So thank you, Nat. Appreciate that. And then let me read a card here to make sure <clears throat> this is from Jersey Girl Stitch Co company sent me this card and on the card it says dear Kathy and Molly enclosed our pins for your enjoyment Kathy I get to have Prince Rupert it's is a frog not adorable? look at that frog <laughs> oh my he, God. and then it's the pin cushion that you put you can, it's a needle miner and darling top. Cute, cute, cute. Too cute. Just, I actually went to her site, fell in love with him, and then along came the attic stuff to go and get ready. And it took me like I don't even know how to pack. I go, I've gone to Wisconsin 50 times back and forth since we've lived down here and driving. I know what to pack, but honest to God, like I said, with this knee thing, it's like oh no. But anyway, and Molly from Jersey Girl Stitch Co. got Home Sweet oh, Home. Oh, 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 just dropped it. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Home Sweet it. Home to go with her project. She showed, she so enjoys watching us both. Um, it's a strawberry. And she, by the way, is a Wisconsin girl too. So absolutely love you, Teresa. Thank you so, so Teresa much. Teresa and June, thank Those you so came. much. Yeah. That I love, darling, this little guy strawberry. is going to be my buddy. So she does sell these on her site. And Teresa... And Anna, and I believe that's her daughter, Jersey Girl Stitch Co. Um, yeah, Instagram, Jersey Girl Stitch Co., same thing. So if you can check out her. her well site. done packaging yeah. and everything. Just uh -huh. pretty. Look at the fun. Yeah. She sent us his yeah. before, and like I said, thank you so much because I had commented about this frog. I was like, he is stinking adorable. Yes, And it goes adorable. with my happy princess everything. The frog's adorable. So, anyway, that. And then that one, um, I oh, did we? Oh, this was from Laura, right? Did I read? Oh, no, that one more. This was from Laura, I think. Yes, this was from Laura. She said, I meant to get this in the mail <clears throat> so much sooner. Wish you a speedy recover. Now it's happy mail to let you know we're all happy you're healing and feeling better. Special thanks to you and Molly for being my floss two friends. So we love you too, Laura. That's okay. the gal that did the little pink cushion for us. So that's that, that's that, um, and then Trisha, I can't tell you how much I love my little jar of honey. She was sitting across me from the table, mm -hmm. Not, I, I believe I've met her before, but the sweetest, sweetest girl, her husband is a beekeeper, and I don't know when to open this thing up because I love the way it looks, but I definitely am going to do something with this jar. Let me see this. Is top. that not the cute? It doesn't say anything else on it, but it's just cute. Oh, this is locally produced by MJB's. Yeah. Cute, cute, cute. Isn't and that I, a cute little jar? Gal's name, I'm pretty, pretty sure it's Trisha. And that then is drawn, I got a new pair of sixes. Love them. Magnification six. Love, love, love these. 
And where did you get them? At the attic. I actually saw two pair there, and I'm like, Jean came over with me, and one of her gals unlocked the cabin, and there was this pair there, and there was another pair. So I called yesterday, and I said, if that pair is still there, I want that one. Um, because you do beat them up over time, and not everybody sells sixes, and I do use sixes not over my glasses, but just because, just mm -hmm. those. Then, a um, couple things really, really quick. I'm going to just jump in here when my jump pile is moving. Um, I owe it, gal, a tin. And I have your name. Molly sent me the email. The tin is here. I will get that mailed to you because we did um, also make 7,000 high five. So we're on the road to... We have seven, over 7,000 yeah. friends out there. Thank yeah. you all so much. I yeah. Just thank you. I don't even think my husband subscribed. So it could be 7,001. Oh, there you go. But thank <laughs> so you all so much. So when we much. send thank out the friends. seven gifts that we want to do a giveaway here in a little bit, um, I'll get that sent out to you. So not to worry with that. Poor Lori, uh, Louise. Louise. Look what they did to your card. I need your address. I did send you a message on email. This truly says Louise on it. They just blacked it all out. But I, you probably think I'm a horrible person and not sending out some kind of a thank you or whatever. But I did. Um, so that's that. This was from Jean. Tape measure. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. The and it's kind of got wood. Kind of got the wood. wood. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. Okay. Then I'm quickly going to talk. I did, by the way, and I, I'm not going to go into it today because this is already long and Molly hasn't even begun her. I, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Um, I, I put all my needles in this tin and the needle minder. I did get a Mary Arden needles and I also got uh, the Perman needles that I had mentioned the other day. And Molly and I, I know we talked about needles and we are definitely going to pursue that. And we're going to add these to this. We don't have the needles. We don't on have this the needles, paper, but they will yeah, be. Yeah, but they will. Uh, be. I'm going to make a new form. Um, so I've got two new needles to add, and then we'll we'll probably put this up on our instant our Instagram, so you can take a look at what they are. So far, I will tell you that I really do like the pony needles. Oh, good. I like the ponies. Uh -huh. um, I don't know exactly why they're actually a little bit of a bigger needle. I know you like the the teats, mm -hmm. but I think this will help a lot of people too. You know, some people have said, oh, a needle's a needle's a needle. I just throw mine away. I don't. And I want, I have to be comfortable with my needle and how that thing slides and does it bend. And I am probably a little bit of a tight stitcher. Mm -hmm. So weaving it through the back is a little bit more difficult. Um, so I, I, I'm pretty picky about my needle and it, the way it threads and the eye. So I did purchase a bunch. Okay, on that note, yes. I did write down some comments and things that yeah. I would like to go over. But one of the things I want to let y'all know on needles, this yeah. is not, we're still going to do a little thing on needles now that Kathy has them on in. Yeah. I've asked her to actually stitch a couple of, you know, feel them and yeah, to, play with them. On. So, but Fat Quarter Shop did a video um, just oh, this they? week on needles, and she showed the needles in the packages and all. Yeah. So she showed the different brands that she carries and all. A great little video. But the one tip from there that I, you know, have you ever seen a thing on Facebook, you're this old when you found out something? Well, I am this old when I found out there were some needles I was having trouble threading, but I loved using them. Yeah. Turn the needle over and yeah. come through the other side. Yeah, I, I on the other side. Even, There's like a groove. It's like a groove. Yeah. yeah. It is. That's a game changer. Yeah. I think we mentioned that on the football Well, I don't start. listen to you. I was listening to You me. don't listen to no, me. No, I was listening to her. Speaking of Molly not listening to me. I was listening to her, and she That's showed what me. what I brought. Oh, the book. The book. Rub it in, rub it in. But anyway, but uh, so cross stitch. I mean, uh, that quarter shop has a video on needles that's uh, cute. You know, it's good. It's a good thing. Someone stitched this, and it's beautiful. I wish I could remember the name. She's on Instagram, but she's got it all done, and it's. You pulled the threads. I pulled the yeah. threads. Oh, and I, so, some of you commented you've started it already or you've yeah. got it ready to start. I can't wait to get on it. Have you started it? No, but I've got everything together. Okay. It's beautiful. It's, so what size linen do you think you're going to be doing it on? Little. I think mine's 35. Mine one is strand. either 14 or 18. I yeah. don't know, but it'll, so it'll be cute to see how much bigger mine is. Are you going to use one strand, do you think, on 18? If it's 18, I would. Well, okay. If it's 14, I, I don't so, have it in front of So just to share again, this book was 101 Best Love Designs from Cross Stitch and Country Crafts. 
I'm sure it's not available. It is. It See, needs. that I did look they, it up. Kathy yeah. was here. She said, buy it, buy and it, buy it, buy it. And I said, no, I'm doing it because she's telling me to. And, of course, the minute she left, I went to try to buy it. It was gone. Oh. <laughs> but this has so many. Um, I, I did bookmark just a couple. This has the triptych, triptych Amish scene in it. Which, um, that was real, and you know, it might not be popular today, I get that, but there are some in here. Ooh, that one with the quilt on it is That pretty are pretty. still popular. The sun, yeah, the sunflowers was a big deal. I already showed that's that a, one. That's a pretty bad. And then this oh, one. Oh, my goodness. That was reprinted in there. Kathy, that's pretty. And these guys are in the back. So, like I said, you know what comes around, it always kind of comes around again, so... Mm -hmm. There's a couple in here that I think are really nice just to have in your stash storage. and But the sunflower is the, the reason that I oh, grabbed. It's, so yeah. I had, as long as Molly was talking about, yeah. Um, how would you like to take a turn, Molly? Sneak in some I things? am so sorry, guys and gals. This is almost embarrassing, but let's just get through it as quick as we can. It's about this many things. Okay, yeah. first here's my needle chart. I mean, my uh, weather temperature chart from Stitching Mommy on Etsy. And this is June. So you can see I'm getting into the reds and stuff. And because it got over 100 this week, there will actually be some beautiful violets and purples, oh, purples and stuff huh? showing. What there was, that? and what I did, because I wanted to, I pulled all the colors she originally said for our, for hot, you know, for uh -huh. our weather. And then... I kind of took, I didn't want that color, so I pulled it out, shoved it, these numbers down. Well, I wanted to add that color, shoved those numbers up. So I made a few changes and things, mm -hmm. but there was a real, real, real bright, woo, orange. I didn't want that with all these other colors. It's really pretty. So I'm loving this muted thing. So that's, you know, stitching mom, stitching mommy, no, no G, on Very Etsy. Pretty. Do now, that. do you want to put that on my side? Because no, I've got I'm a little spot here. Mom, okay. Throw you it sure? On the floor. I'm going to throw it on the floor. But anyway, so just to show you, see the you're I'm into oh, these I colors now. See, I'm into these and colors. Violety. So while that doesn't look like the hot summer sunshine, that's my June. And that's oh, cool. isn't that going to be pretty? Yeah. But yeah. I'll probably need to Very start pretty. another color. Okay, this one. Love that. Look, Kathy. Oh my gosh. Isn't that cute? <gasps> Molly. Let me She's see sweet. it. Isn't it cute? I love it. Okay, so this was. Oh, this is the one I brought to show too. Kathy showed hers is finished. It's on a different color. Yeah. Lint, hers is on linen, mine's on an yeah. egg. But that's a pretty color. Ada. It's adorable. And it's from the Sweet Land of Liberty book. And I love it. And what's left to do is the eagle and the flag, but there it's not a lot of stitching left. And then a couple of like starbursts. And you, know, you I love seeds. your roof. I love my roof. We do we is and this I the love, one this we is picked? Shaker White. We changed the that, roof. It's Pelican Gray. Pelican Gray. I went with oh. a little bit of and then the shaker white color. Mm, perfect. 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 So I'm loving that. Yep. And it's from the, thank you, Kathy, it's been sweet. Sweet Land of Liberty. Oh. And there's like two other patterns in there I want to do. But I'm hoping I can get that through. Today we're filming on the 17th, so we're a little more than halfway through June. But I think I'm a little more than halfway yeah. through the thing. You'll be able to get this done. And I have nothing on my calendar for the next two weeks. She says that. No, well, the last all couple of weeks have been. Crazy. Oh, I don't know how to work. Crazy. That. It's all fun, but man, it's something Yeah, I can put that away for you. Oh, thank Go ahead. You. Okay, so that was that one. Now, this one was the uh, Kimberly Jolly at the Fat Quarter Shop has a book that Susan Aki, well, I'm saying she has a book, she sells it. Um, Susan Aki designed, it's called Summer Memories, and the first part of the book is quilt patterns, and the last part of the book is cross stitch patterns, and they're cute. So, this is uh, missing the pink. In this, I'm missing the pink here, and I got a little bit more white oh, to stitch on the fly. Oh, that's sweet too. So it's cute, huh? And Kathy, this was the one. I should go lay more often. I'm telling you, this. You remember that thread was purplish yep. and red, but that's how it came out. That looks good. I huh? like it. But if you look at the thread, you oh, say, you would be like, oh my gosh. She's using purple thread on a plan, but it looks pretty. It's you know, long may she wave kind yep. of thing. So this is what the yeah, pattern looked like. You would like. not think that. This is just one of, I don't know how many cross stitch patterns are in that book. But, and then I'm going to be doing this one. Isn't that pretty? I like it. And look at that. Freedom flowers. Purple that you would not. See that red is like, yeah. that's purple or something. But it's. This one. Yeah. It's more it's a DMC variegated. here, but it's definitely. Uh -huh. And then one of the ones I'm going to do, and of course I'm that? changing the colors on, is uh, this land is your land and this land is my land. And I wish more people believed that. So I don't want to get preachy here, but you know, we, we share this country. 
Oh, beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. And then the other one that I worked on quite a bit. Not quite a bit, but a bit. In a, she, how long have you been going? I know. Police? I got to, like, see. Okay. I had to tear out oh, the gray. Oh, Oh, you ripped it all out? I ripped it all out. <gasps> You go, girl. Look how nice that white looks. So, once again, you know, I tell this time every time I stitch. If I, no, if I wouldn't have been for the ripping, I'd have been almost finished. But uh, it's cute. It and is. that's uh, She's acting like it's a big deal. That. But it's going to no, be pretty. But it's she had a lot to rip out. I had a lot to rip out. I was I like, that ain't happening. No. But it I almost started <laughs> over, but it's, thank God I didn't. Okay, and so this is um, Lincoln's Eagle from Teresa Colgert. Very And cool. the background color. It's not full you coverage because the fabric does it. I see this like framed in an antique brass something like something that. from basil court whimsies mm -hmm. over mm -hmm. there did you see she had brass trumpets oh, I last did. weekend i would well, I mean, did they all go i don't know i didn't go but anyway but the saying is those who deny freedom deserve it not for themselves and it's i've always been absolutely you know. cool. so anyway so i got a lot of that done you did and i worked on a couple of other things but not you know they shall go nameless right now and then she was talking about the yeah, tiny, tiny town, town, which this is not tiny town, but it's close. A la, you know, kind of look. This is the next one I'm starting because I just want to start it, and it's from Primrose. Uh, what? What? Who's it from? Uh, I've got a line, like a steel set. Primrose Cottage Primrose stitches. Primrose Cottage stitches, and uh, I've got it kitted up and ready to go. So that'll be. So what I'm hoping, and I shouldn't say hoping. I'm saying what I'm going to do is a uh, Lincoln's Eagle. And the uh, the, uh, the first one I showed, I'm gonna finish. You know the yeah. uh, Blackbird Designs America. Well, you need America. Fourth of July stuff. You kind of. Well, that's it. I'm gonna finish those yeah. two for sure. I've got the little ornament thing almost finished. I'll do one more of those. So I think I have time to start and get a real good distance on two more. I like the barn. I love it. I love it. So I'm gonna do this one, and then the oh, other that's one. Your, are we in plans now? Well, this is still in June. But I'm just saying. So Everyone's I've got, got like I've got 13 days left in June. I want to finish two, start this one, and I've got to get this one done. There have been a buku bunch stitching this one. This was the Patreon pattern. From, yeah. If you're one of Teresa Colbert's Patreon mm -hmm. members, is that cute? But a whole bunch of people have shown Did this. Did you finished. start it? Did you get it? I have not started. You haven't yet. started it yet. Okay. I, what happened is I started on America. I couldn't stop. I know. And then I started on the Eagle. I couldn't stop. I know. You know. So. uh Oh, drop the page. Anyway, it's the oh, uh, patriotic okay. tweet. I think it's called. It is called patriotic tweet. So Teresa a lot Colgate. of y'all have uh, not only started but finished it. I uh, love it. And I was waiting on uh, two colors for it. I think I'll use that as an excuse anyway. Okay. And then I have a technical question here before we get to comments and things, Kathy. Real quick. Even though this one's silly. Silly's good. Silly's good. Was this yeah. one by? Hold on just a second. Is it Pinker and Pumpkin? Oh, Pinker and pumpkin, pumpkin, I think. But this is show. It's free. It's free. Okay. It's free. See, I was about to catch myself. What if I did that on black? Oh. Would you think that'd be okay? Yeah. Okay. I, uh, do you want it to look like a blackboard? Well, I'm just. I got a lot of black. A lot. So I'm thinking the croc would show up pretty. Excuse me, one second. <coughs> yes, pinker and pumpkin. So what I was going to tell you, I had several ladies ask me about <coughs> allergic to the kitty cats. They wanted me. It's pinker and pinker. Oh, and it's hard. And it is. It is hard to get to. It's on their blog. If I'm not you mistaken, you go to their blog. Yep. which I put a link to. Yeah. Well, the frustration is, you know, you might not can find that pattern. If you go off to the what is that? The right of her blog. Mm -hmm. She has. You know, post heading things, not the actual post, but like you can look up patriotic or you, so can, you can look see. up things. But if you look up freebie, she has like four different things that say freebie. Yeah. Well, girls, there's like there's 300 really under cute. this one, 200 under this yeah. one. So really what happened cute. with me, like even I was looking it up to try to send to some, some of our friends, I got distracted. I probably downloaded another 14 charts. <laughs> so Pinker and Pumpkin it's has some of the cutest, easy to do, cutest yeah. charts. But you do have to dig for yeah, it. Yeah, you got to dig. I don't sound silly. It's her blog. That's how she's making it. Yeah. You need to dig for it a little bit. But it is under, it was under Crocs. I think one of the listings was Crocs because she has a bunch of different Crocs. And um, she's got a I think it was under Freebie. And I think adorable. it was under Patriotic. They were darling. Yeah. I'm not kidding. She, I think she's got, from what I saw, two houses that are really popular. That Well, 
on that note, I was I, I was downloading stuff like crazy. Oh, don't but, break your pattern. Oh, sorry. I screwed Okay, up. so I'm yeah, not even going to show those other two. Who the heck with that? We've got too much more stuff to go through. Okay, I'm going to set that up. While there. we're taking a break from mm -hmm. this. Okay, the needle thing already went over. Yep. Back quarter shop. Turn your dang needle around. Oh, it's easier. Let me just say this. Let me. Can I? I'm not going to show that yet, but I do want to talk about this really. You can unplug it. It's probably good. good. Thank you, Molly. That, that Hold, connect, please. This connection right here feels. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this be cool. Okay. I, I'll remember because I'm looking at this, but okay. it's summertime. 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 Anyway, project bags. Uh, I've got down here Cindy McCord and Noel. And there was about six others of you after those that told me to go to Joann's and buy the, I'm going to make up a number, Pelon 971F or Pelon F971. Bought it, love it, haven't used it yet, <laughs> but I'm going to. Good. Thank y'all so much. For your project bags. Yeah, because I'm. Are you going to try the by Annie Softens? No, this is in, in lieu of. In lieu of. Now, everybody oh, did yeah, tell because... me that the Annie's vinyl is probably better, but I did go ahead and just yeah. buy some vinyl at yeah. Joann's. Uh, so anyway, to me that. okay. Now, Kathy, one of the things you don't have to discuss it today, but I don't want it to go undiscussed. You answered this young lady, but I think there's more than her out there like me who want to know the answer to that. Radioactive Girl Scout. Is that a cute name? Her question was, how do you change the size on a motif to replace a motif in a pattern? Oh. Does that make sense? And you answered her. It was like a paragraph. She answered her. Oh. But uh, I know for me, like when I did that little, uh, was it a pump leak, this uh, Hello Spring, and I changed out the, or Spring has sprung, and I changed out, I didn't want to use the did snowman. You alter I the, just, did you alter I just, the pattern? Or did you yeah, I took out the snowman, and I took out some of the oh, other snowflakes, and I put in okay. quilt things. And after I did my first quilt star, I just changed my count on the others just doing it. You know, just, what the heck, I can always rip it out. Mm -hmm. But I, that's one of my questions I'd like to say is how do you change out motifs or decide sometimes if, well, I don't want this, but I want this, you know, kind of thing. So that might be a discussion. And the other thing, speaking of project bags, I had some patriotic uh, machine embroidery designs, and I did, I think, answer everyone that asked me uh -huh, where to get them. One is on Etsy. Um, embroidery Garden was the one with the vinyl bags. Um, so there are some places that you kind of got to dig and do a do some searches, but I, I think the ones that I did answer. Okay, okay really quickly. I had one more. Oh, go ahead. Just one more. Okay. Under the needle subject, yep. Kathy had brought over when she brought the needles to first show me, she had a card. Oh, yeah. Which told you some stuff. And it was from Stitched Modern. Okay. Stitched Modern. It had the, I'll link what, it to, what card to stitch, what, what, excuse me, what needle to use on what count. Yes, ma'am. And, yeah. but when I went to that side, kind of like Pinker and Pumpkin, only yeah. Pinker Pumpkin is like Little hundreds, reward. hundreds, if not thousands of free charts. Uh, but that Stitched Modern site yep. has under the word tools or uh, learn, I think under learn, she has a bunch of different uh, blog posts of linens or threads or how to wind your bobbins or all kinds of, great little learning corner, great little learning corner. Succinct, clear, good pictures. So Stitched Modern, if you want to learn a little bit more about some subject on cross stitching. Okay. I don't know if this is going to turn on. But did you plug it in? I plugged it in. It turned on earlier, huh? I did. So one of the things I wanted to uh, tell you about, and I, I there we go. Okay. I guess you just have to tap it. Um, this Z lamp. Good, great. Maybe I know. it works. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's telescoping. So you've got some ability to move it how you want. But it also has three, it even goes brighter. Maybe this is the lamp we need, huh, Molly? <laughs> That's a good lamp, It's Kathy. a really, really good lamp. Then light. I have to sell my car to afford that lamp? No. Um, Jean does sell these now at the attic. Oh, um, good. But I wanted to show you the Z telescoping lamp. Um, very easy to use. It's chargeable with the USB. Um, turning on and off is simple with the little mm -hmm. normal turn on and off. And like I said, it's got three settings. Really, really. Whoa. Bright. Yeah. And to Kathy, turn, that's a good lamp to turn Not it off. Not to mention, it is very ergonomically yeah. styled, and the design is really attractive. And packable. It's a handsome design. Yeah, very packable. So I wanted to share that with Molly today. Yeah. yeah. And actually, oh, that's not bad at all. No, weight wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
But you got to keep it charged. And like I said, I haven't had it. That charged. is a well done. Yep. That's a well done lamp. Lamp. And who is it by? Um, I have to. Well, you can get it at the attic. Yeah, you can get it at the attic. I think it's just Z telescopy lamp. Five volt. Like the letter Z. Z. Yeah, Z is a, oh zigzag lamp. Yeah. Zigzag, zigzag lamp. lamp. That's well very done. handy. The look is yeah hmm. sleek, packable. It's a sexy little look. But you can set it on your armchair. Uh huh. Because it's you uh -huh. know mm -hmm. it's it's got the weight to it too, like uh -huh. a piece mm -hmm. of weight on it. Um. So that's available at the attic, and well, I hope. Excited about that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Back to you, ma'am. Should I show my whip? Oh, are you exhausted? I'm not, but okay. if y'all are, we'll take a nap and come back. So I am stitching the model for Beer Get for the Wishing Thorn. And then, like I said, I'm going to go into another model for the Wishing Thorn, Ms. Hughes. Forget, send me the next one <laughs> so I can get at it. Um, but this is Ada Davies. Okay, again, I'm going to take it out of your hand. Sorry. And I told you all that, you know, the top part of a sampler can be a little put you to sleep kind of thing or relaxing but I finally got into the cottage that cottage is and oh. I love her isn't she oh, Kathy. pretty so I got and look at how the vine is on the and look how unique this is and the trees and I've everything. never seen motifs like that before so as soon as I get this thing stitched it will be released and Kathy. Isn't it pretty? Well, you better get stitching, girl. I know. But I Kathy. what one thing bothers me is there's a lot of what they call negative space above that house or above the cottage. I'm calling it a cottage. Don't forget it's not a house, it's a cottage. Um, I'm thinking, you know, a cartouche with some vine, how pretty that would be in the middle there. Or two birds in the middle there with my initials. So I may have to finish it for Burgett the way the pattern is, but I may stitch, I may make something with my pattern maker. And, but isn't she a sweetie? You know, being an ex-merchandiser and having to work with the advertising, you know, a little white space occasionally is peaceful. Yeah. And it lets yeah. you focus on the thing. But you samplers, boy, y'all add some motifs. I'm loving this one. That, that house is beautiful. It's cottage. Cottage, excuse me, the cottage. The cottage. Look how sweet. Yeah. I said it looks like a little dollhouse. Yeah, the cottage. So I'm kind of cruising on that. And then plan. One more time. What's yeah. the name of this one? This is Ada, Ada Davies. Okay. Let me share it again. Ada Davies, 1852. Okay. Ada was married to Maurice. I like that name. Maurice. They had six girls and one boy who passed away early in life. More of Ada's history will be released when her chart is published. Okay. So keep an eye on that, ladies and gents. Loving that. I even ironed it. I told her yet. Because I showed it to her yesterday. I said, I promise that I'll get it ironed. Not to mention finished. and It's stunning. Okay. So, What's next, madam? I, listen to me. I have plans. <laughs> okay. So, briefly, we talked. If you all remember, I stitched this one last. I love oh, that pattern. And I'll bring, yeah. It's available. Fall is next month. It's available. But Fall then I got the month. sister one. If y'all remember All Hallows Eve by the same gal, Lady and Fred, Arena Gorina. I'm going to put that there so you can see it. Y'all take a screenshot. This is available too. Look at the two skeleton heads. Aren't they cool? Oh my God. And look at that, look at that Halloween one. This one I did stitch. Absolutely adorable. All it's done. absolutely adorable. Yeah. So I want to spell her name, um, I-R-Y-N-A, Gorina, G-O-R-I-N-A, and she goes by Of Lady in Thread. And I know that she does put these out on uh, eBay is where she has these. But check the witch out by the moon. That two-headed two skeleton just, thing is I know. true. So that is a plan. And then just quick... Quickly, I actually did this box, Blackbird. I had the box all done, speckled in orange, speckled my floor. I now have orange speckles, and I have, you know, bluebird specials from my speckles for my egg. I need to get on this. For crying out loud, Kathy, get it done. The box <laughs> is stinking adorable. It's done, so that's a plan. And then I have two patriotics. I have always loved uh, Plum Street, Liberty's Welcome. I have the threads, but 
just check that out. Is that not like patriotic all over the place? Kathy, that is fabulous. And I have French Vanilla 36 count to stitch it on. It's all zigzag, ready to rock and roll. I have the threads. That is... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm oh, no, you're fine. Of you. I was no, no, short you're fine. Tea. Show them, show them, show them. Look at the eagle. That is one of the prettiest eagles I've ever seen. And the uh, carriage holding the vase on top with those little uh, quilted stars next to it. Oh, my gosh. It's just... Just now this is this is available. This is not yeah, okay. that's available, and I think I have all of the colors. If I'm not mistaken, I I'm gonna have to double the borders, check. Yeah. I'm actually missing some of the golds, but yes. I just thought pretty pretty. So oh, that's yeah. a plan. Now that we've decided we you know have to have plans, so that goes in here, and I have only one more thing to show and it is there was a retreat and I don't know if it was Stitch North had this um, off the top of my head I cannot think um, who had it but I there was a retreat last year and this is also by Plum Street and this is designs by um, Paulette this one is called Live on Little, How Great the Blessing and Vast the Art to Live a Little with Thankful Heart. Absolutely love this one. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So a bunch of people mm -hmm. are stitching it, and I thought it was Live on Little like, have you ever heard the Elton John song about Live on, Leave on is a good man? Anyway, there's I'm a sure song. I, have. I thought it was Leave on Little like a man's name. It's oh, Live, Live on, on Little. little. It's like, <laughs> now, now it's done. It's there's done another before. retreat that talks about America that uh -huh. a lot of them are stitching. And it's kind of like the sister one to this. But I just thought this was, and I actually dug in my stash today because every time I see it on Facebook, I love what they're doing. So hopefully I can get the sister one will be prob probably released in a year uh, because of the... But I'm, I'm like ready, because check out my little bling here. This was, I think, socks for mom. And I got the ship and the light on. That's a really shell. pretty pattern. That yeah. is a really pretty, so it's a little bit. So that, little. yep. Okay. And I just, you know, wanna tell everybody, if, don't forget we do have the tutorial out there on how to make your thread beds. Me and Molly did that. And, and this it. is the one I took to the retreat, to the Bristol retreat. I love this one. And it has all my threads inside. I'll open my little bling on there. But there you go. I love it. Love, love, love it too. Mm -hmm. So that is all I have. Kathy, that is not, is it? Yeah. All, you, did, you did all that over there? That's our giveaways. Oh, that's our giveaway. Yeah, okay. Do giveaway. And then you showed me the bags that the attic uh, gave you. They yeah. were clear bags, but you were saying. And she's assuming everybody else did video that was there. Yeah. Which tubers would be showing. I, I bought attic, this one. That is a great bag. Oh, Jean gave us this. What is that? Well, this is the one that has the angels on it. What is it? It's a floss ring, but then. Oh, look how sweet. The frippery lady. Boy, that. Footbury lady does a good job yeah. on charms. Look how pretty. Oh, I can't that was worth showing. I bought. Yeah. Well done. And then Jean gave us, day one, Jean gave us this attic bag. I bought this one because I had so much stuff. Mm -hmm. But this fits in here very nice when yeah. it comes <laughs> in it. Um, so that's all I have. Um, oh, and then, you know, we are really, really, Molly and I, I enjoyed. I hope we're still recording. Yeah, okay. I do too. Think we are? I hope so. It went to 50. We'll <laughs> see. Molly and I um, really enjoy doing these little quick flops Oh, yes, tunes. it's showing yeah. an hour. Is it yeah. still going? I hope you guys had, yeah. Yes, it is. Hope you guys have something to drink and, yeah. But um, we decided that um, because we did meet our 7,000, which I'm really happy about, I'm both of us are pretty competitive that way. We're kind of like waiting and waiting. <laughs> well, we 
we did finally hit it. We've got a couple of giveaways that um, we're going to give away seven different items. Molly, do you want to maybe write these down? What we do for uh, I think that's a brilliant. What we idea. do for the wording of it, like the what and they she's have saying to say. that as if I have a pen near me. I just know I do. I know you do too. I think it's here's a pencil. She Let's got see a this pencil. Works. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Tell so, me we're ready. The first one that we have was donated by Rachel. She is the administrator of one of the administrators of Stash Unloading Cross Stitch Only. This is Plum Street Happy Morning. This is Happy Morning. I know a lot of people are stitching it. I've seen it out at the attic at the retreat. Beautiful. Um, and the I was gifted that from a sweet dealer. It the word to use would be happy. Happy on this one. And then for our second one, we have Heartstring Samplery. <clears throat> it's Festive Little Fobs, and this is the Seaside Edition. We're trying to stay a little bit summery and fun. And that was a gift to us from another sweet viewer mm -hmm. who sent us uh, four or five things to give yeah. away or share or keep for ourselves, right? which I kept one or two. <laughs> but anyway, so this is a cute, cute, cute beach themed yeah, it is. Seaside. Really beach, cute. Uh, Got a couple set. of berries on there. And the, the word to use with on this one would be fobs. <clears throat> and thank you, Fat Quarter Shop. Every once in a while, they are very kind and generous and donate to us some patterns as well. And this particular one is right in season. Um, this is called Star Spangled Ornaments. It includes 12 cute designs. And this is by It's So Emma. And the keyword to use on this one will be ornaments. O R N A M E N T S. And those are, I think she put them in those little tins. Yeah. They're so cute. So cute. I really like them. Little tart tins. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So that's three. Okay. And then four will be the Prim Village. And this, I think, was donated by one of That's your friends. Sweet friend. This is by It's So Emma. All these cute, adorable houses. And this one will be House. Alright. Done this one. Don't forget your block. Oh, my block. Then we have um, the Patriotic, which includes three Americana designs. And these are the tight face so series and I've seen these in a dough bowl and they really are adorable um, I saw someone also mirror that Uncle Sam and stitch the full face and it's adorable as well she stitched it small and this one will be the keyword of face I love how people get creative with their comments and try to include these words and sentences and stuff right I love that this will be six. This is one of the stackables for May. This is by It's So Emma. And we're going to use the keyword May on this one. The bee is adorable. Yeah. Okay. And then, y'all know I have scissor blocks. So I am donating um, one of my kits, my patriotic kit. I'm going to just show you yeah, this. Yeah, this plain block with the hole. I didn't bring the block with me today. I had, like, no more room. Um, but I will I'm going to use one of my kits and for this one we're going to use the word block So, so you're gonna get the block and the stuff the yeah printed things the to print, put around patriotic it. designs around it from my postcard collection felt for the bottom directions and You have to decorate the top finding treasures and what's the keyword block block? Yeah. Okay, and not so, to overlook um, Something I forgot to write down Probably all y'all know this already. But another thing is if you go to the Fat Quarter Shop, they mm -hmm. have two free stitch alongs. One of them is active, is going on now, and it's a Halloween one, and it's precious. Is that and is that the quilt one too? Well, you can do a quilt or oh, a because the bat, or both. the bat is adorable. It's darling. If but that's so the free one. She's doing a Halloween one now, and of course yep. she has the fabric and thread, but you don't have to buy it. Sure. But it's a free pattern. It's beautiful. And then next month she's doing one that's called Evergreen. Uh -huh. I just ordered my, I'm ordering, I've got them in my cart stuff, to order okay. the uh, thing. And Kathy, actually, she's using uh, like ribbon red, uh, red, what is it, red ribbon or ribbon red mm -hmm. or something. And mm -hmm. a couple, couple of real pretty colors on that evergreen pattern she's going to be doing in July. 
it looks darn in the little hint she's giving you. But I'm going ahead and ordering like an extra skein or two of some of those colors so I can do more charts with those same kind of colors. Does oh, that yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. I think so. Uh, we love rearrange. So just to quickly recap, block, me, face, house. This is adorable. I love that one. Talk or, about a floss buster. Yeah. Ornaments, bobs, happy. We're so happy. Oh my God. Just more than happy that we good friends out there we love you to death yeah. just love you to death you love your comments and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff kathy i cannot thank you enough for bringing over for all my this haul stuff and for buying all this stuff and collecting all this stuff and getting gifts and all this stuff and thank you for my presence to all to those of you who yeah home all presents. the cheerful things that make us and you know honestly sometimes days are just crummy sometimes they're wonderful sometimes they're crummy but i will tell you on a couple of these gifted things that have been sent to us I've had some crummy days. <laughs> the last probably month has been on and off, good, bad, ugly, crummy. Um, and they really do cheer you up. So thank you to everyone that thinks about us and pairs us up, me and Molly. Um, we do this as a, a pair for fun and we can't thank you enough out there for the wonderful things. And of course for liking, subscribing, <laughs> sharing. And the comments, I'm telling you, Sometimes I read them like at, at you know just a hundred yeah. of them at a time or something. Y'all are so creative, and thank yeah. you for sharing your ideas and creativity. Yeah. On the fabric dyeing, I did get in the rinse. That, oh, you did. Yeah. Okay. And I told my son, I said I felt like I was stealing something. They sent me the rinse, which is a soapy thing you're supposed to use with that bubble jet set right. two thousand, which so you can about. dye your Ada with your inkjet printer. Well, the rinse came in and the lid was unscrewed. Oh. So the package was. Kind of way. Pretty yucky, and the uh, it was in an Amazon bag, and then the um, post office had put it in another plastic bag that sealed it all up. Mm -hmm. It looked like a you know hazard markings or something, saying you know leakage, be, you know uh. kind of thing. Well, when I opened the thing up and actually opened up the Amazon bag, there was about this much missing out of a bottle, you know, about that tall. Right. So I wrote Amazon to so know. Yeah. Well, of course they gave me full credit, so I felt like I stole half a bottle. Oh. But I took my credit. Oh, no. <laughs> so I'm going to be dying. I'm, I don't have anything on my calendar this next week. I'm so excited. Don't even listen to that. Except maybe for a luncheon. But anyway. And you know, Molly, I've been thinking about this too. Fabric, printed fabric has been, not fabric like you'd well, buy. That's it, right. But printed designs have been happening for a long, long time. A long time. time. Mm -hmm. So it does kind of make you wonder because most of the time, like I bought a really beautiful uh, uh, tissue holder. Flaps the picture flaps together and you have a full picture, but that's printed. And I thought I would never wash that. Well, we so, buy printed Ada. I mean, I bought yeah, printed Ada so from there's printers, gotta, you mean, know, from people. There has to be a way. Yeah. And I almost brought with um, Brenda Gervais did the coming of the Mayflower. Oh, uh -huh. and I I printed on my printer, and I'm sure if I wash it or get it in water, it's gonna do something because I didn't know any of this. But it's mm -hmm. a beautiful bag. I'm not planning on washing it, and now I hope it doesn't ever get wet. Yeah, but, really. <laughs> but stuff before all of this has been printed for a long time, so there's a way to do it. We well, those, appreciate all the comments. So those there. of you sweet friends who put me on yeah. that bubble jet, I, I, yeah. I didn't follow instructions. But after the second, the first two washings, I lost some color. Yeah. But the third, fourth, fifth washing, I didn't lose yeah. any more color. You know, so oh. I'm hoping with using the rinse and following the instructions, yeah, this could be a thing. And don't think I don't have the names of the first two of y'all who recommended it to me. So if it works, I'll be getting with you. If it doesn't work, you never heard about it. Oh. So anyway, but back to the mushy yeah. stuff. Thank y'all yeah. so much. Thank you for everything. Okay. You can't say enough. So. And once again, my mouse does not work turning my no, phone No, we off. tried that again so this morning. The I'm darn thing still. I'm going to poke y'all. <laughs> I'm going to poke you to turn <laughs> you off. Okay. Have a good day. Thank, Thank you. Thank y'all so much. Bye.